As I opened the windows, the sun's rays filtered in, and with them memories rolled in. Mist rising from the rainforest, the unmistakable call of the parrots, macaws, and toucans, days spent traveling in river boats on the mighty Negro River, and memories of the river banks with wooden huts built on stilts to avoid the yearly rise of the river. Emerald green plant life everywhere, and most of all, the Brazilian people whom we grew to love. We were home again in Manaus. We had arrived 16 and a half years earlier as young and inexperienced missionaries. During those years, God used multiple ministry experiences in preparing us for our return to Brazil. These range from pastoring a jungle church on a tributary of the Amazon, to pastoring a rural church in the States, to evangelism, and administrative work in the Philippines. God gave us two wonderful sons, Aaron and Jonathan. Now God had called us to assist the growing Wesleyan Church of Brazil in the area of theological education, developing their expanding vision. As we settled down to work, we learned that there were ten organized churches, a nucleus of four students at the Bible school, praying people, and a mighty God ready to show himself strong on our behalf. After teaching in the Bible school for one semester, the district board appointed Clifton to be its director. Wesleyan work in Brazil began in 1960 with Paul and Lois Downey and Paul and Sally Philippi. It had been nurtured by scores of others, career missionaries and short-term workers. However, with four students studying for the ministry and a lack of pastors in our churches, it was time to pray, plan and promote our Bible school. We trusted God to touch the Brazilian Christians to respond. And respond they did. 91 students from Manaus enrolled. What wonderful students they were. They came from all walks of life. Carpenters, teachers, managers, housewives, and many more. They came to better their knowledge of God's Word, to deepen their relationship with God, and to fulfill a divine calling on their lives. Challenged by the vision to expand, they came determined to play a part in the growth of the Wesleyan Church in Brazil. Among these students was Elias, a second-year student assigned to pastor the Union Church. This young pastor, motivated by his training at the Bible School and applying the principles of Metro Move, has one of the fastest-growing congregations. Six new preaching points were established by them this past year. Another student named Antonio came to school determined to follow God's leading. What a joy to see God working in his life, step by step resolving issues that were haunting him. His growth in the Lord and dedicated service to the school resulted in his appointment as public relations director. His God-given talents, along with the training he is receiving, is preparing him for even greater service in the future. Pray for Elias and Antonio and for the other promising students that make up our student body at the Bible School. God also had a big surprise in store for us. Seven months after our arrival in Manaus, little Laura was born. I had some complications soon after her birth, and Laura and I had to spend six weeks in the States for treatment. How we thank God for His help and for the little bundle who has blessed our home. Brazil is so vast. Besides our work in Manaus and Fortaleza, there are many other cities with multitudes of unreached people. We have targeted seven of these cities in the Northeast, from which we can reach 30% of Brazil's 150 million people. We now have workers preparing to plant churches, and to establish extension training centers in these cities. 
the vision for expansion into new territory is embraced by both missionaries and Brazilian church leaders. Workers are needed and God is beginning to send them. Tom and Grace Ince and Kevin and Cindy Smith have joined our team, bringing with them the God-given talents needed at this time. God is at work expanding the vision. You too can take part in this exciting work in Brazil. You may choose to join a work team, go for a short term through Wesleyan Gospel Corps, Yes Ministries, or you may sense God's calling to become a career missionary. Many are choosing to become partners with missionaries. Today you have the opportunity to share with us in our ministry. Prayer continues to be one of the most vital aspects of the expanding vision for Brazil. We encounter spiritual darkness on a level and scale that is unprecedented. Time spent in intercessory prayer today is essential for our success in ministry. Let us join hands together as we see God blessing the growing church in Brazil, expanding the vision.